Ash trees, like this one, are under attack in Wisconsin. The villain is the emerald ash borer, or EAB for short. When this beetle infests an ash tree, the tree usually responds in a predictable way, exhibiting just a handful of symptoms. The beetle itself leaves behind specific signs that it was there. However, some of these signs and symptoms can be caused by other problems, such as disease, drought, or even physical damage to the tree. Knowing what to look for may help you protect your ash trees from this pest. Since EAB only attacks ash, if you see any of these signs or symptoms on some other kind of tree, the problem is not EAB and you should contact a private tree care company or other professional for advice. Ready? Let's take a look at some of these signs and symptoms. EAB typically kills an ash tree from the top down. As a result, you may notice that fewer leaves are coming out at the top of the tree, or the canopy, year by year. This thinning, or crown dieback, is gradual, sometimes taking three to five years. And it's not the same as when leaves just fall off the tree in the spring or summer. That's usually because of some disease or a late frost. This is a very general symptom of a tree in poor health and not always an indicator of EAB. Another symptom that often occurs when the top of the tree is dying is the growth of suckers near the bottom of the tree. This is the tree's way of trying to compensate for the loss of leaves in the canopy. These suckers can grow out of the ground near the base of the tree or even right up the trunk, and they're usually smaller than normal branches. Suckering is a general symptom of a tree in distress, but not necessarily because of EAB. Here's another symptom, vertical bark splitting. This happens when the tissue that's holding the bark to the tree is destroyed. When the tissue is gone, there's not much left behind to hold the bark to the tree, and it splits open. In the case of EAB, the beta larvae are eating that connective tissue and slowly killing the tree in the process. Sometimes the bark splitting reveals evidence of the beetle's feeding. The last symptom we look for is evidence of woodpeckers feeding at the ash tree. Woodpeckers are often quick to find insect larvae underneath tree bark. In the winter, the damaged areas where the birds have been feeding are clearly visible. These aren't the typical jagged looking holes you might associate with woodpecker feeding. It's more like scraping off the bark on the tree to get to the EAB larvae that are just beneath the surface. On their own, each of these four symptoms is not specific to emerald ash borer infestation. But when the same tree has at least three symptoms at the same time, it may indicate that EAB is present. Even then, scientists still need to look a little closer for the real signs of EAB. One of these signs is the feeding tunnel created by the EAB larva when it's eating away at the tree. The tunnel starts off small and narrow, then gets a little bigger near the end. The larva winds back and forth as it feeds, leaving behind an S-shaped tunnel just beneath the layer of bark. The other EAB sign is the exit hole. In the early summer, the adult beetle chews its way out of the tree, leaving behind a small hole. The hole is about one eighth of an inch wide and is shaped just like the capital letter D. This D-shaped exit hole can be in any direction. If these two signs are both seen on an ash tree, it's likely that emerald ash borer is present and it wouldn't take very long before a larva or adult beetle was found in or on the tree. Other native insects also leave behind holes and make tunnels underneath the bark when they feed. Sometimes those holes and tunnels can be very similar to the ones made by EAB. When you see an ash tree that looks unhealthy, don't immediately assume that EAB is the cause. Make a note of what you're seeing and call the hotline to report it. Better yet, send in photographs of the tree and suspicious symptoms or signs. Many times, problems can be identified using a few well-taken photos. You can get more information about EAB or learn how to submit photos at our Wisconsin EAB program website at emeraldashbor.wi.gov or by calling toll-free 1-800-462-2803.